what you'll witness from yesterday, we turned up in a town like this, we come under violent attack multiple times, women were attacked, and the police basically walked off and left, and actually refused to arrest people. Still no one's been arrested. You'd have seen the gentleman who put a milkshake on my head, the police dropped him at the train station, let him go. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if I drop a bit of litter today, I'll probably be arrested. There's a two-tier policing system in this country. We all see it. Certain people get away with anything. If someone comes up and shouts words at me, I don't care. When they start physically and violently attacking me, and there was a politician called Pim Fortain in Holland, and he was attacked. He had a cake thrown in his face. And just like the media have done since yesterday, that was celebrated. Politicians have celebrated the fact that I was attacked yesterday. Many politicians and many journalists. Everyone knows what happened to Joe Cox, okay? I am standing as a member of European Parliament. I should be free in my country to come to towns and cities and meet lovely people like yourselves without fear or threats or violence and intimidation. So far, that did not happen yesterday, okay? It did not happen yesterday. And it's not just shameful that it didn't happen, but the video you will watch will show that the police actually make sure it didn't happen. The headline by the Daily Mail, Tommy Robinson punches man. That's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. I was assaulted. I have been threatened, so people understand my perspective on it. My wife, the police knocked on my wife's door and they handed her intelligence. The intelligence was to say that they have intel that people are planning to throw acid in her face. They gave her a little bit of paper that tells you what to do when you're attacked with acid. Okay? They done the same to my mum. So when people throw liquid in my face, as I've been, I just answer the phone to my mum there, who's panicking. I've received six Osman warnings that say people are planning to kill us. There's six Muslims in jail serving 30 years because they got caught with guns and bombs and IEDs on the way to kill us. So it's not a joke. And when the police are aware it's not a joke, they should maintain the law. Yes. Their job is to uphold the law and enforce the law when people break it. What is far right about wanting to protect gay people's rights? What's far right about wanting to protect women from oppression? What's far right about supporting free speech? What's far right about hating female genital mutilation? What is far right about being opposed to terrorism? I meet people every day who cover their work badge, who don't feel free. And I hope that on the 23rd of May, the British government like an earthquake, get a message that they generally will, oh, I'm not just saying it, if I walk into the European Union, the British government, Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn, all of the establishment will get a message they will never forget. The saddest thing is that a man, a man went innocently, whether you like me or not, to take part in an electoral process that we have a right to do, liaised with the police, asked for their cooperation and was continually violently attacked, spat on, racially abused and not one person was arrested. For the people who were reacting to the Muslim gentleman who was stood there, he's purposely come over with his mother, okay? Because the image that this cameraman, who's a professional cameraman, part of the mainstream media, the thing that he's probably come to get is you lot reacting to that man. That's why that man has stood there with his mum and so he's innocent and they want the image of you lot looking aggressive. That is a setup, probably by this man. And who do you work for? Who do you work for? Mercury Press. The Daily Mirror. See you mate. See you mum. If you get people trying to goad you, just smile, yeah? Because otherwise the press will take a picture and the story will be spread that Tommy Robinson far right supporters turned aggressive on Muslim male with his elderly mum. That's what they'll say, okay? I'm telling you. The biggest academic failures in this country, fact, this is a fact, are white working class children, okay? There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. There's a reason that people feel they don't have an identity, that they don't have, a, they don't have an identity, they don't have a cause, they don't have a belonging, yeah? Because it's been taken from us. Because we've been made to feel guilty about who we are. Instead of being proud of who we are, instead of being proud of our history, we have I always, I always say, if you were born in England, you have won the lottery of life. Okay, you've won the lottery of life. Your history is beautiful. Your country is beautiful. If you want to send a message to this government, to the 
elite, the elite who portray us on everything, to the rich and powerful corporations, to Silicon Valley who think they can now just silence any opinion they disagree with, the control they have on opinion now, with online, with Facebook, with, I said I'm currently banned from every social media company in the country, in the world. I've broke no laws. Well, my, my opinion, if I said something on social media that broke the law of hate speech, inciting racial hatred, inciting religious hatred, I'd be arrested. But what they've banned me for, because they don't agree with what I say and they don't want you, it's not about censoring me, they're censoring you, hearing what I'm saying. They hate the fact that I exposed the BBC. They hate the fact that the general public around the country, a million people got rid of their TV license last year. If you're one of the people who hasn't, you don't need a TV license. It's a stealth tax. They're taking 15 pound a month off you to lie to you, to teach you to hate yourself, to give you guilt over who you are, over your culture, over your identity, to make you feel apologetic for nothing. We have nothing to be, feel guilty about, least of all our generation. On the 23rd of May, everyone has a choice. Everyone on that day is equal. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor. It doesn't matter where you're born. It doesn't matter your race, your colour, your creed. Nothing matters. We're all equal. If we galvanise the people from our background, when I say our background, I don't mean white. I mean working class. I mean British people. I mean Sikh, Hindu, everyone. If we galvanise who we are and we for that one day send them a message, it will be a message they will never forget. If you want to rock the establishment with me, go to the polling booth on May 23rd, ignore Conservatives, ignore Brexit Party, ignore UKIP and put your tick next to Tommy Robinson. Boom.